Okay, fair warning guys. If you don't want to spend any money on modifying your Brompton, you better look away. Because uh, today's video is gonna be the latest update on my Brompton. I did some lightening work. So I just wanted to share with you guys what I did with my Brompton. Uh, the weight has come down quite a bit. Uh, let's just uh, leave it until the end to then I will show you exactly how much how much weight was actually taken off uh, with these uh, mods but before I start let's just go through exactly what was changed on the Brompton all right let's do the Brompton fall okay Okay, let me just give you guys a close up and as you can tell this is like uh, the new room that uh, that was actually under construction it's 90% 95% of the way uh, almost complete not quite yet but uh, got a little bit of space here so let's just uh, go through uh, the mods uh, that I did all right Okay, give me a second. So I'm gonna start with the uh, the power ring. This is the power ring, also a Iridia power ring, and this is the 54 teeth. And this is the cage over here, also Iridia. What else did I change? I changed the bottom bracket. Of course, you can't really see it, but oh yes, you can. It's over there. All right, that's the Iridia bottom bracket. It's a ceramic bearing. Uh, let me see what else I change. Uh, all right, this is the radio brakes, and it's a very nice and simple design. And of course, the main thing would be the rims that I changed as well. Okay, all right, and not forgetting the cranks. All right, radio cranks that I swapped out as well. Okay. So overall, this build, it's almost complete. Don't forget that the Brompton, this is actually the titanium version, so the front fork and the rear linkage arm are all titanium. I left the rack there, although I could save a little bit more weight, but I paid quite a dear price for this. This is the H&H &H, uh, titanium rear rack, titanium uh, seat post, and the titanium handlebar, the T-handlebar, and this is now a two speed, and uh, I only have two speeds, one to climb the hills, and the other one for cruising. So overall, this is the complete build for my Brompton. Um, did I say it was some, some, some serious poison? Well, I went, well, not really serious poison. There are a lot of people out there who have done way, way more to their Brompton, but uh, with this particular setup, I actually think that it is uh, complete. Uh, I don't think I need to do anything more. Um, 9.79 kilos. That's a sub 10 Brompton right now. Sub 10 kilos and in the previous video, link over here you can see that you know um the weight savings of almost like i think more than two kilograms with all these mods is actually very very substantial because whenever you do any lightening for the brompton 200 grams 50 grams 100 grams and you can see all the aftermarket manufacturers out there everything is really by the gram so if you really want a very lightweight brompton most of the time you're comparing the two speeders um, it's very rare you do have a six speed and what are the kind of benefits uh, that you get, like uh, immediate benefits? Like for myself, you know, when I, when I, when I uh, took the Brompton out yesterday for a very quick ride around the estate, <clears throat> it felt uh, very positive. I'm not quite sure whether, um, whether, you, 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 whether I make any sense, but when I say that, you know, when everything is all very light and it's all tightened up with really good quality components, you basically get the feeling like it's very dulled in. 
right? So, you know, sometimes you need to fine tune certain parts of your bicycle to make sure that, you know, example, if you have a downhill bike, you don't, know, you don't want any rattling or, or the kind of thing. So, so for like a, for like a Brompton like this, you know, what you actually want when you ride, you know, you want to have a very positive pedal feel and that's what I, um, I, I, I look for whenever I go for, you know, whenever I take any bicycle, you know, it, it's, you know the, the very, the pedal feel to me is like the most important thing. And that really uh, gives me a lot of confidence, you know, whether I want to go a little bit faster, you know, or go a little bit faster around the corners, you know, or I go a little bit lower, you know, and stuff like that. So yeah, so overall, I'm actually very happy with, uh, with the Brompton build. Sorry if I made you guys spend any money, but uh, this was way overdue because uh, I actually collected my bicycle several months ago, and uh, I think I, I mentioned that I was gonna cover um, cover the mods uh, that I've done. So overall, uh, this is uh, what I've done with uh, with my Brompton, and um, I hope you guys like it. This should be its final form now. Um, I don't think um, I have the budget uh, to do any more stuff and um, I might actually want to remove this uh, f this plastic thing doesn't do a lot actually um, I don't really cycle in the rain and uh, yeah I might remove these and the rear fenders as well so other than that um, that's uh, basically it for today's video. Just a really quick one to showcase some poison. And uh, until next time, you guys take care. Bye-bye.